guys, I'm KP from YouTube, and you're listening to The MBS Show. Hello and welcome to The MBS Show, episode number 83. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Lionheart Cartoon. Hi there. You have a long name. Sorry. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> My name's long too. <laughs> well, we'll go to you soon, guess we'll go to you soon. But um, Lion, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I hope you're doing as well. Oh, I'm fine, thank you, I'm fine, thank you. So, how has your day been? Well, woke up, ate, got ready for you guys. Oh, that's awesome. That's it's awesome. been a normal day. Always happy to be there. Awesome, awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, we're also joined by Spirit, right? That's right. Hello, Spirit. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm doing, well, not to say good, but I'm doing well. So, same thing with Lion. Got up, eat, and then got ready for the show. Yeah, woke up in the morning feeling like, feeling like PDD. <laughs> PDD? Well, I don't know. That's Kesha's song. Oh, God. I never got that word right. Oh, uh. Uh, I don't even want to remember TikTok. that song. <laughs> I don't even want to remember that song. Oh, okay, from the TikTok song. <laughs> now he's getting the joke. <laughs> it's it's P. Dicky or something like that. You don't know what she's saying. No, I don't. <laughs> so how, why should it matter then? I don't know, but I don't want to get drunk over it. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on before we <laughs> catch the ire of the IRAA. <laughs> So, anyway, our guest for this week is, well, I had to call her Beeper, but I got, I love Kim Possible a lot. Hi. Hey there. Ooh, I never thought I would use that, <laughs> ever. Well, you know. <laughs> so, KP, for short, how are you? And it's true, your name is Long. Yeah, my name is Long, but that's why I I thought of, like, getting a nickname for myself, because it's kind of long and weird to call me that all the time so <laughs> I thought KP was easy and made sense so mm, that's really true, true no but still um, for a pony fan with that kind of name it's let's say rare it's rare yeah but like I couldn't like when I realized I wanted to do pony analysis I had I couldn't like change it I didn't have the heart so I was just like you know what screw it I'll, I'll just be I'll just be the same person. I'll explain it later, and people are gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> but you did explain it. I watched a bunch of videos of you talking about your name. <laughs> yeah, people ask me. They're like, they stumble upon me like through one of the clouds of dawn or any, or something, and just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's genius. It's genius, really. First, pick a name that's not related to the fandom, and then do something that's so interesting with somebody else, and people will come in drove. Just to ask you the name. <laughs> genius, very genius. So, um, I, I think we can discuss about your name later. So, um, before we start, we have to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, who's your favorite character? Main six or like the whole... Multiple choices are allowed. Okay. Um, well, I think it's kind of obvious who my favorite character is. But, um... <laughs> Okay, um, Discord is my favorite character, obviously. Um, I, I do, like, it's funny, because, like, Fluttershy used to really annoy me, like, through the earlier seasons, but now she's, like, her, like, I really enjoy the Discord Fluttershy friendship thing. It's, I think it's adorable, so it's, like, I love her now, and it's weird, so. <laughs> Yay, another and, Fluttershy fan. Awesome. And then, um, I, I guess I relate more, most to Rarity, because I'm, pretty girly and like to dress up and wear makeup and look pretty so but yeah that's that's all i got so nice cool so you like Fluttershy because the cool guy likes her <laughs> yeah you know i'm yeah. guilty i'm okay. sorry <laughs> yeah, but you do love the discourse discord is cool yeah discord's fun he's really interesting as a character to me so that's why i talk about him <laughs> all the time and people get annoyed they're like what kp talk about something else i'm just like i don't want to <laughs> No, I want Discord's to, awesome. I want to talk about Discord. Yay. I want to talk about Discord for another eight videos, and you are going to have to deal with it. <laughs> okay. So, um... Yes! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One day you'll have John Delancey. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> well, the Discord. So, um, favorite episode? I'm guessing Discord-related? Yeah, um, keep calm Flitter on that. That was the episode that got me in the fandom, so, you know. Mm. Really? Kind of has to be my favorite, yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, not the return of Harmony? 
No, because um, I was, like, casually watching it up, like, I started, like, mid-season two when I worked my way backwards, and then I caught up, and then I kept on going. But, like, I was still, like, on the fence about, like, getting, like, legit into the fandom, and then when the Discord Reformation thing, it, like, it, like, made my mind, like, explode, Mm -hmm. and I was like, if they do this right, then I'll join the fandom, and I think they did, you know, despite the time restraints and stuff, so I was just like, fine, I'll join the fandom, (laughs) I'll do it. So, well, it looked like somebody was pointing a gun over your head and say, join yeah, the fandom. Please. Join the fandom or else. <laughs> join the herd. Or else. Join the herd. Or else. Uh, we'll play more videos of senior, senior, junior singing. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, people, will not, people who are not KP fans might not know that. <laughs> ah, go look for it. It's fun. So how did you become a fan of the show? What really got me to get into the show to like give it a chance is I got, I saw a fan art of this corner. She's like, Oh, this is a cool person. So I, I watched, I think I watched return to harmony first. I don't remember, but if I didn't, then I just watched it from the beginning. And then I found it really interesting how like all these guys were into it. And, and I, I'm like a stickler because people always like animations for kids. And I'm just like, no, it's not for kids. It just because Americans target it to kids because that's what they always do. It's not fair. Go watch animation. And they always give me a hard time. Like as a Kim Possible fan, I was a Kim Possible fan for a lot longer than I, than I should have been by society, society standards. I'm, I'm a hipster. And people would be like, well, why do you like the show? It's for like five year olds. I'm just like, but it's amazing. <laughs> so I feel like this, the stereotype is breaking with like this and Adventure Time and things like that. So that's that's refreshing to see. Oh, okay, well, that's a well explained explanation. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, what do your family and friends think about your love for the show? Well, um, because I've well, I'm kind of like I'm kind of halfway film and animation student. I'm in college right now. Uh-huh. I, I'm kind of I have a major for film, but um, I have, I'm doing like a bunch of animation classes just because. It's my favorite. But anyway, because I like Kim Possible so much, and because I like the animations, they're kind of used to it, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, it's, it's one fun. of those situations. All right. So they're just like, oh, she has this new obsession. Okay. But it's easier for me because I'm a girl. But at like, the same time, like the bronies who like have to explain it to their parents, and their parents like have no idea. I mean, God <laughs> God bless their souls. My parents are just like, oh, yeah, new thing, you know. It reminded me of that video. I, I don't remember who. It was a funny parody video where this guy wanted to explain that he was a brony to his parents. And it was acting all like, oh, I'm gay kind of situation. But instead of saying gay, I'm a brony. <laughs> That's a harsh situation to live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Besides, why do you have to explain to your family that you like a cartoon show? If they like Survivor, they don't owe me any explanation. <laughs> <laughs> One thing they often forget is that adults are the ones that are also making those shows. And if, if they can't like what they do, how can they make it make others like it? It's uh, It doesn't really make sense when someone just says, well, it's a cartoon show. No, it's not just a cartoon that, show. That, who it's cares if it's a cartoon? I mean, there's worse TV oh, yeah. than cartoons. There's, re- there's reality shows, which are <laughs> based upon the premise of spying in other, snooping in other people's lives, which is fairly negative. I believe that someone that is a fan of a uh, reality show has a lot more explaining to do than a fan of My Little Pony. Oh, so you like peeping. Mm. Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> precisely. Oh, you like color for color for horses? Oh, you like oh. peeping on people's lives? <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Ha <laughs> ha. Brow, brow. <laughs> oh, no, but seriously, um, well, liking ponies is not bad, and if you have to explain to your parents, like, uh, parents, I am going to watch a show for little girls, and you are not going to judge me in any way. The more you kind of try to explain it, the more they want to judge. I think it depends on the parents, too, to be honest. Mm, true, true. I interview a lot of people, and I heard, well, about all the stories I can um, imagine from they don't care, I'm secretive, they were weird about it at first, but they kind of accept it. it I, I've heard all of it, and, well... It is true that it's strange to like a show for little girls, but you know what Lion said was true. The show is made by adults for kids, but if it's good, there's no demographic for good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, thank you, DP, for answering all my questions. No problem. So, well, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is housekeeping. We here at MBS Show love to play video games, and we really like to help in a charity event. So what could we do? Well, as of November 2nd, 
Most of the MBS show crew will be participating in Extra Life 2013, a 25-hour gaming marathon to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. What to expect during the 25 hours of gaming marathon? Well, expect to be a part of the, well, I won't say live stream anymore, but I'm going to try for Twitch, Twitch TV, with me. You can join me in the game and possibly see me rage at a game, interact with the guests during the live stream, and get your questions answered by them. I am trying to get guests on. That'll be yay, fantastic. And we would appreciate if you can donate to our team. Together we can help kids and, well, basically help kids. Uh, links to the donation page will be available in the show notes. So uh, I do hope you guys can come and spend, well, a few minutes with me. Just talking to me and stuff. And watch me play um, Tetris, maybe? Tetris? Who knows? Tetris is, Tetris is fun, especially when you can get at one um, level 100 where the blocks come down really fast. It sounds it fun. much of a commentating. Oh, he made a line. Oh, is he going for the Tetris? Yes, yes, <laughs> Tetris! <laughs> uh, that always, like, so, Lion, how are you doing? Playing, the game, playing Tetris. Oh, oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. And I will get mad because I miss a block and then you'll be confused. Why? What's wrong? What did I do? Nothing, I just miss a block. Ah. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, just like, oh, move the block, move the block. I think that's as, as exciting as it's going to get. You, you're going to have to play, oh, I don't know, maybe something a little exciting. more engaging. Yeah. GTA 5. Whatever you do, make sure, like, you test the sound before because, like, I had a live stream where I had to basically stall, and I just went to play Nickelodeon games, but the sound apparently <laughs> killed everyone's ears, and it was bad. <laughs> Just like I got like all these Skype messages, but I could, I didn't check them until after the fact. And they're like, "KP, it's too loud. Turn it down." I'm just like, "Oh." And I written in caps as if they could shout with the text. <laughs> and they're like, "My ears." I'm just like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know." No, but but I did test it out with um, Lion yesterday with the Twitch TV thing. Um, I was trying, well, play, I was playing Skullgirls and I wasn't sure because I can't test and hear the game at the same time. So he had to help me. This site was it okay or not? What was I going to say? Be careful with Twitch though, because I had this problem recently. Um, it doesn't save streams anymore automatically, and I didn't know oh, that. Really? Yeah, uh, I thought they, they kind of did. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I, I mean, think it's kind of, no, no, yeah, no, no, live Twitch streams. It's another ah. thing. It's it's like live stream, but not live stream. <laughs> it's like, it's not. broadcaster. Nope. Uh, no, Maybe it better. works with it's other things like um, I'm using OBS. What was OBS? Um, online broadcaster service? Something like that. It's pretty cool and it's pretty not hardware intensive. It really don't eat much power on your PC. So you can run, what was it? Photoshop CS5 and it will still run perfectly while you're streaming. Cool. Oh, wow, that's, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Well, um, that's what I try and use. But <laughs> um, I need to test run it with a well, more than one person watching. <laughs> well, but now let's move on to the next topic. And I do hope you guys can pop in and say hello and, you know, just um, get on the stream and just mock me for losing a game. Uh, that's always oh, fun. And it's too encouraging. Yeah, yeah, that or mock. Either way, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not fun. Mocking is not fun. You lost. Uh, <laughs> That's my order. Ah. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> so, in the next topic is news time. And in today's news time, guy loses job because of ponies. Ooh. Wow, this is going to be long. <coughs> Story time. Yep, yep. Earlier in the week, a post on Reddit caught the attention of CNN. They in turn made an article on the matter. A guy going by the name of Fire Brony on Reddit was fired from his job. The reason for his termination was due to him showing that he was a fan of the show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, at the workplace. Fight Rooney described himself to be a guy in his late 30s who worked a regular 9 to 5 job and is a big fan of the show, but not to the extent of wearing a Brony shirt all the time. The incident first started when he used an Applejack wallpaper on his work computer. He was asked by the boss to change it because it was weird and it made people uncomfortable. The second incident happened during Bring Your Kids to Work Day. Fight Brony brought his 10-year-old son to the workplace. His son was a big sports fan and most of his co-workers were asking his son sport-related questions. 
Fight Rooney noticed the boss's nine-year-old daughter was wearing a Rainbow Dash shirt, and he told her that he liked the shirt. After the event was done, he was called to the boss's office and was confronted about the matter and telling him that it was weird and to cut it out at work. The final incident happened when some of his co-workers were talking about the brony culture. When he tried to talk about it, he was subsequently mocked. Later in the week, he was called again to the boss's office and he was fired due to how people were uncomfortable working with him. Links can be found in the show notes. So, that's not fair. Yeah, I think it's because... Yeah, that's not fair at all. But I think because people don't really, like, people outside the, fa- well, not even outside the fandom, but, like, outside internet culture don't really get it. They don't get it, man. So I guess I can see from their perspective at the same time, it's very frustrating. Well, it, it falls in pretty much the same the same branch as we were talking earlier, like adult adults watching cartoons. And this one being one of their little shows, girls, it makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and they, they don't understand the fact that it's a family show altogether. To them, it's pink. It's not made to be seen or even discussed by adults. It's just something that should remain outside of work. Whereas if you go around wearing a Nike t-shirt only because you're exposing something, it it makes it okay. Those kind of Mm. things really are unfair, especially if when you're living in a free country where you're allowed to like and dislike whatever you want, suddenly you're being stigmatized for what you like and complimenting people on what they like as well. It doesn't really make sense, not in the same time. Well, the dislike, the general dislike of people makes sense from my point of view. It's not because it's a show for little girls, it's because they mistake a lot of concepts. For example, if someone goes down the street and wears a t-shirt of, I don't know, for example, Snoopy, that's an icon that represents something. And there are several icons of cartoons that are representative of gay people. However, My Little Pony is not a representation of girl people. It's targeted to little girls. So mm. people are making an absence as an, a very unfair assumption that it's the guys who watch My Little Pony or wear My Little Pony merchandise are related to pedophilia somehow because they want to attract little girls. By wearing that merchandise, mm. it's horrible. I mean, it's a horrible idea, but that's yeah. the core of the repulsion towards the community or towards the bronies. So mm. as long as that is the core idea, there is going to be a rejection and there is going to take a lot, a long time for people to accept that no matter what the product is, people have the, the right to, uh, to like it or no. Some people like baseball, some people like ponies. Until that idea settles in, it's going to take a very long time, or so I calculate. Mm. Well, it does make sense. This guy actually got reported at work. That's the problem. The, there's a double blame here. Part not The guy is not a saint, and the boss is not a saint either. Actually, both made mistakes. First, the guy go, uh, got a warning from his boss, and even if he milded down his tendencies, he didn't cut them out completely. He wasn't as wary as he could have been on his mm. work. And the boss didn't have actually the right to tell him what or not what to do or to express. That was very uh, partialist from the boss. Well, the boss didn't have the right for him for starters, to tell him what he should or shouldn't like. Granted that it is a work computer, it probably belongs to work, and if the boss says, well, you can't have that on your system, well, then don't put it on. But for him to go and say, well, if you're wearing a T-shirt of a pony, you know, remove it because it's it's bad, is, is not exactly in the right place to tell him what to like or not to like. Uh, well, technically, legally, the boss doesn't have the right to tell, no, you cannot have a pony in your screen or you cannot wear a brony T-shirt. Uh, there's a difference between a work machine and... The, what the guy wears. I mean, it's like a sports fan wearing his favorite hockey team's jersey, but if the guy comes in with a Speedo because he likes the, the athlete, <laughs> it's not going to get looked at as in a very nice way, even though he's supporting a team. Yeah, I know. That's but it, Wouldn't that be awesome, actually? Well, it would make a lot of things easier, especially for the bronies. <laughs> well, Speedo Sundays. Yay. In all seriousness, <laughs> the boss didn't have the right to no. tell anything to the employee, but he did, and the employee did it again. I mean, he reassessed how re how what's the word in English? He uh, re reinstated. Rein- no, uh, reinstated. No, 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 that's not the word. But I mean, whatever the still. word is, 
he did it again. He expressed uh, affinity for the show in the workplace. The boss was very on his toes already about that matter. Mm. That's from the story that we and have. We have only one yeah, view we only here, have you know, despite it's CNN or anything. We only it have could one be point called view. as insubordination, but the core That's of that insubordination, of insubordination will be that the boss was parting for a very unfair point of view. Someone mm. can have a sports team uh, shirt and he cannot have a rainbow dash shirt. That's not fair. Mm. No, but um, in this um, article I wrote, it's very shortened and paraphrased to what he said. Essentially, in his workplace, some of his co-workers put um, sports team on their wallpaper, as their wallpaper. So he decided, hey, I want ponies because I enjoy ponies. So it's kind of an unfair bias that they have there. And I don't know, it could be this guy, even though he described himself to be normal, um, in him, in his mid thirties or late thirties, normal is um, kind of pushing it. But in reality, he, he could be one of those. Hey, I like your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, we don't know the guy. We don't know him personally, and maybe he was the kind of guy you don't have. You don't want to have around the one that gives mm. creepy vibes, maybe. But at the same time, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the I boss mean, did take a pretty extreme measure. Mm. Yes, yes, he did. Because it, 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 he doesn't have the right to. So, sorry, yes, KP, go ahead. Yeah, um, it wasn't like it was. It was like it was just basically pony stuff. If, if he was being kind of like more creepy about it, and like just talked about like Rule Thirty Four with his with his um, roommate, not his roommates, his coworkers and stuff, then then I would understand. But like the things he did, it just kind of it expressed that he was a fan of the show, and you know, so it's it's a fine line. So that's all I just. <laughs> true, true. It's kind of not fair to talk about both parties, but making uh, making it sound like the boss is kind of a, well, jerk. <laughs> it, yeah, I don't know. To me, this is borderline um, illegal, um, kind of discrimination, really. Yeah, it is. Yes, Technically, it is. It is. It's, like I said, it's, it's extreme for... Uh, someone who has who just happens to have a liking to something that is socially seen as a, a little girl's show, even though it's been proven time and time again that it's a family show in the end. Mm -hmm. It's made for true. everyone. That, that is true, that is true. And here's the thing, if the military can accept people watching a show for My Little Girls, why can't your company do it? Boom. To the point. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I mean, if yeah. it was the ponies, if he liked it, I don't know, artistic gymnastics, which is a, fa <laughs> a fairly... Feminine sports, feminine sport, and the uh, participants are fairly younger. Oh no, no, because you're just watching the girls. I am not letting you having a gymnastics uh, wallpaper. wallpaper in your computer. Yeah, true, because that, that you're, is true, yeah. you're a sexist pig. <laughs> oh, that, that is that is some. Yeah. It's the same reasoning. It's exactly the true, same true. reasoning applied to something entirely different. You know, there are so very, so some of those very old T-shirts depicting depicting some of those '80s cartoons that are that seems to be oh. super washed out and you know purposefully poorly printed. If I had Smurfet <laughs> on my shirt, I wonder how he would have reacted. Even though I'm from the '80s generation, you know. Oh yeah, true, <laughs> true. No, but still, it's kind of a, a one-sided argument we have here because. It's not fair to call the boss a jerk because the guy writing this seems to portray his boss as a jerk. But like I said, um, it could be the boss is a jerk or the guy that wrote this was kind of weird, uh, giving out weird vibes. It could be those. Who knows? Yeah. Well, we all yeah. take the side of the guy because we are all brownies. So we relate to that situation of oh, not true. acceptation. <laughs> So true, it's very true. easy for us to take the guy's side, but we don't mm -hmm. know the guy. Maybe he's yeah. a jerk himself. Maybe he is. Yeah. We're all but different. Still, true, but still, let's not um, judge people for what they are or what they do, because, well, people have their own opinions. Yes, they are entitled yeah. to that. At least I hope oh, for a while. <laughs> <laughs> for a while? I mean, going to change soon. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> he, he's thinking about changing his mind. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's move on to the next news topic. And the next news topic is Ponies in Chua Chup Egg Toys Revealed. On episode 80, we had a talk about the 2013 Hasbro Investor Day. On that episode, we mentioned that Chuba Chup was going to be involved with ponies in some shape or form. And how Chuba Chup was a Spanish company and that Salvador Dali created the logo. Anyways, <laughs> it seems that they are going to make an egg toy. What is an egg toy, you may ask? 
Well, look in the show notes to find out. Links and pictures can be found in the show notes. So, um, this is interesting. So, who here does not know what an egg toy is? I'm going to raise my hand, even though you can't see it. <laughs> okay. Well, what about you, uh, Spirit? What about you, Lion? You guys? I'm know? from Spain. I know <laughs> egg toys and chupa chups. I've never <laughs> seen Kinders. <laughs> Kinder eggs. Okay. Um, the only so... thing I'm worried about is if you choke on the pony inside. <laughs> okay. Um, Come uh, on, so hey, we, we have this joke. Like, what are you playing with? With what came out of my eggs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, um, so for oh. people in the United States who might not know, well, first things first, Kinder, ki- Kinder, Kinder Bueno? Um, was it Kinder Bueno? Uh, I, I think it's one of those brands. Um, the guy, those, the, the company that made um, Nutella, they have this one toy egg, or it's basically a chocolate egg wrap. And inside there's a small toy, you can um, have it. United States banned that because they are scared because children might choke on it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think I have a good analogy. I don't know if you guys remember or you guys have ever heard of Wonder Balls, like the little Wonder Balls, and they have like the Disney characters inside. And yeah, it's, it's similar thing. I don't think they've been sold in Canada either. Yeah, they haven't. Oh, well, they've been we they've been the off the market for for like this is like from my childhood, but that's probably why because they were afraid someone was going to choke on the toys inside. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, looks like Kinder will be making egg toys, and the, I it, click on the link in the video. Uh, click on the link in the show notes because it shows a video of somebody opening a chuba chup toy. Essentially, what happened is it's kind of a capsule toy where the person opens it and it reveals the lollipop and a toy at the side. So it's not that bad. And it, uh, I'm guessing Americans will have this toy. And kids will not choke on it unless they eat the ponies for whatever reason. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> yes, for, for the heck of it, I had a lot of egg toys when I was a kid. I loved to go and spend my allowance on them. I never choked on a toy. <laughs> That's Proof awesome. of it, I'm alive and I'm talking to you. So. <laughs> you are alive. Yeah. I am alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, I survived um, the egg toy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, awesome. No, but still, um, for you guys, I, I hope American do get it because you guys deserve something because Chuba Chup is kind of nice even though I haven't tasted one before. <laughs> We're so deprived, man, of these, yeah, these got, amazingness. Chuba Chups, you never had one? No. Me, me no. Uh, you guys, what, your, I, childhood is, of your childhood is missing. Protest about that. Get a Chupa Chups. <laughs> Wasn't it the, one of those uh, 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 cartoon ads that said, how, uh, no, no, that, that, that's different. Uh, I'm thinking of another brand. How many leaks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? You know, the Chupa Chups are someone, somewhat similar. Mm. Yeah. Try to want to sell once. <laughs> I feel like it's like it's kind of like, like the soaps that have like little toys inside and like except it's edible and like you know how you like that wa- use the soap a lot to get the toy out <laughs> but if you were just me as a kid I just broke the soap to get the toy but <laughs> yeah, true no but still but still um, it looks like you guys might be having this and if not you guys know who to blame <laughs> thanks Obama <laughs> I can get it too oh no, no, look the, the ad is in Russian <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. No, but still, Duh. but still. Duh. But still, America might have this, or might not. They, they did show it in the 2013 Hasbro Investor Day, so why not, right? Yeah. But anyway, um, I hope you guys get it and do collect them all, because it looks like you're going to have Princess Twilight Sparkle. No, not Princess Twilight Sparkle. It's just Twilight Sparkle. Um, you're going to have Luna, Celestia, and Cadence. So that's awesome. And Shining Armor. Gotta catch oh, them all. Looks cool. <laughs> oh, my God. God, oh, don't remind me. X and Y is going to come out soon. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on to the next news topic. Okay, in the next news topic is My Little Pony comic reached 1 million copies in sale. Woo-hoo. Recently, the My Little Pony comic by IDW had sold 1 million copies at retail. Within less than a year, this is one of the most popular breakout all ages series comic by them. In an unprecedented move by them, they will have an extremely rare variant cover for the 12th issue of the comic. Only 12 copies will be made and will be dispersed via multiple contests and charity auctions. Links can be found in the show notes. Right. So, You guys are going to make fun of me, but like the flamingos, do you remember those? 
Um, like the Kim Possible thing, like uh, oh, yes. 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 Oh. yes. Oh. Oh my God. The, the, the cuddle buddies. I knew flaming goats sounded familiar. <laughs> the cuddle buddies. Pandaroo. That's what I, I want a pandaroo. <laughs> they only yeah. made ten. That's, so that's what I thought of. But is anyone really surprised that the comics are doing so well? No, no, no. Uh, for the comics, not really. But um, printing out twelve variant covers, like only twelve. Just imagine the eBay auction price. <laughs> oh God, oh, that's. It's like that muffin derpy figure, and it looks really awesome. But if you try to get it on eBay, four hundred bucks a pop. I mean, come on. Uh, it's not that awesome. <laughs> no, no, it looks really nice compared to vinyl scratch. Yeah, but when I anyway. see four hundred dollars, nothing no, 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 is that no, no, awesome. No. <laughs> Come on, I- I'd get a Samurai Jack maquette before that. But no, I mean, I-, I didn't read all of the comics or seen too many of them. But at the same time, I'm really glad that they're doing as well as they're doing. Yep, it's yep. really nice um, to see that people just eat it, eat it up. I, I got all the comics by um, via Comicsology, and they're <laughs> really worth it. <laughs> I am not jealous of you at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, but still, but still, um, congratulations to IDW because here's the thing. If it's good, we'll buy it. I, I think ponies are easy because it's a fresh comic and we don't need to um, worry about continui- um, continuity. Is that continuity. Continuity. Con- yes. Yeah, yeah, continuity. Yeah. We don't need to go, we don't need to worry about that because in what issue did Deadpool appear with Spider-Man in one comic and then like, oh God, who is this? Um, kind of Spider-Man looking person but it's not really Spider-Man oh god <laughs> <laughs> there's a problem with comic books and with ponies you got issue number one go read it and it's <laughs> only thing confusing is why do they all know each other go watch the series done confusion done complete oh, but still I-, I wonder what is the art and who's going to draw the 12th issue for the cover for this extremely rare variant they're gonna um, erect Leonardo da Vinci from the grave and that's how it's gonna work <laughs> Oh, the zombie Da Vinci. I don't know, what's the story supposed to be? I mean, so normally the covers should reflect what the story is about. Not necessarily, not in variant covers. I don't know, maybe they, they decided to do something more complicated and more detailed, I don't know. Well, uh, traditionally in Marvel Comics uh, operational system, yes, the cover also, almost always reflects the sense of the story or a peak of the story. But in the, comic bar- in the My Little Pony variants, the cover is a little bit of anything goes. For experience, True. because I have been reading the comics. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, then, just for the kicks of it, what would the story be for the, uh, that, that new series that's coming out, oh, which warrants um, a, 12th, a limited edition copy of a cover? Uh, no, the 12th issue is just going to be how Cadence met Shining Armor, or how they got together. That's about it. But the variant cover... Um, let's just put on predictions. Let, let's just say or predict speculate. what's going to... Yeah, speculate. That's the word. Let's speculate what... Um, and if you guys confused, let me just go first. My speculation is Lauren Faust is just going to draw something for the 12th issue. Yeah, Lauren Faust will make a cover. That's my speculation. What about you guys? Mm, I don't think that Lauren is going to join the comic hordes. I mean, for what I know about the contracts and how this thing, uh, I think that's unlikely. Wishful, but unlikely. Yeah, but still, what was your opinion? Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Or what do you speculate? I feel like they're going to, like, bejewel like, the front of the comics. <laughs> and, like, have, like, Luna's hair and it's all, like, bejeweled. And, like, that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, I oh feel goodness. like I'm missing something here. <laughs> No, bijou is a term where you glitter up the something that you Isn't it bedazzled. Yeah. Bijou, bedazzle. It's the same thing because it's like, but, but okay, we can use bedazzle. Uh, yeah, but still. But they had the bejewelers just... and like they sold them in America, so that's that's. I'm yeah. still kind of right in a way, even yeah, though no true, one knows true. what I'm talking about. I do. I was laughing. <laughs> I felt like I was missing it until I just realized, okay, bejeweled, bedazzled. Okay, so like a, a 3D kind of relief type of cover where you can actually feel all the jewels in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wouldn't that be, that would be cool. And then it goes off, it spills off to the side with actual hair. Yeah, like it has the front of like maybe the two <laughs> sisters and the hair goes like on the, from the, like from the backs and then, yeah. So like when you, when you lay the whole thing down, you can just like feel the hair and it's weird, but it sounds cool <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> the bait of the comic collector. <laughs> it's never going to fit in the sleeve again. And to make it more, um, to make it warrant that um, rare issue, they, they have to be a Mr. T um, trading card. They have to be a Mr. <laughs> T trading card. A Mr. T trading card. 
To whoever that watches atop the fourth wall, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Linkara. Okay, I know. <laughs> but I just like uh, have this picture have of Pony. No idea what it would be or who would do it. Really, um, I know the comics exist. I've seen a few, but I don't really follow them. I, I do have a few things to do. Just maybe it's duct taped to an Xbox One. No, I doubt <laughs> it. <laughs> You'd have to have Gamer Luna on top. You know, just duct taped with an Xbox One. Us. That's why it's so expensive and that's why it's so rare. Okay, then it comes with a genuine Celestia feather as a page marker. Plus they got it. Week. Or they got, like, <laughs> the, the real phoenix feather and they put it on. It's like, don't ask us how we found a phoenix, but there you go. Not very mm. too close to the sun. It's going to burst into flames. There you it's going to have gold, 24 karat gold inlets and all of that. Mm-hmm. And it, well, uh, let's just see Harry Potter was involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, it's actually all... a moving cover, like in the Harry Potter saga. Don't uh, steal my ideas. <laughs> I don't. I'm not stealing anything. I'm doing wishful thinking. Or like if they had an, like an iPod in the cover, so you could just like watch movies on your cover. That'd be cool. Oh god, that's so awesome. Uh, but no. <laughs> well, I have like, if going not so drifty. I think that the cover. Uh, if it's something so special and it's meant to be very coveted by the fandom, either mm-hmm. some awesome artists are going to make it, like Sabrina and Mimina, which recently joined the comic uh, team, or maybe the cover will feature something that the fandom is very eager to see, like, for example, Luna and Celestia as Phyllis. Mm. Oh, okay. which, as kids. Yeah. As kids, yes, that's little ponies when, when they were younger that's or something sort. When I was just a filly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. That could work. But still, um, we, we just have to wait and see. We just have to wait and see what they're going to do with this variant cover because um, issue number 12 have not come out yet and I am pretty psyched to read it and I'm pretty psyched to see what's the very exclusive variant cover. Yeah, but now if it's not a hologram cover or it doesn't have silver ink or gold ink, I'm going to be so disappointed. Or oh, send this blood. <laughs> oh, you stop it. <laughs> if it doesn't have diamonds, <laughs> then what's the hype for? <laughs> true, true. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is guest time. And in today's guest time, we have I Love Kim Possible a lot. <laughs> that sounds so strange when I say it. I know, it's a strange name. I had it, I've had it since I was like, the time I looked at Lionheart's website, so it's it's old and it's, it's weird. But do you remember the forum, the the Ron Stoppable forum? Oh yeah, I remember oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So like they wouldn't let someone put Kim Possible in their username, so uh, I just put it as KP, and I was I was happy about that. But okay. but now it's just like it's a, it's a it's a dead zone there. So it made me sad because it was like it was going on for so long, but it, it had to have died eventually. Yeah. But anyway, KP, how are you doing? And are you having fun? I'm doing okay. I'm a little tired um, because I've had there is there is like this audio issue with like somewhat. I ha- I have this whole kind of quote unquote team to help me because I'm in school too, so it's hard to keep up with my work, my pony work, and then my school work at the same time. So people help me out, and like he said, like he kept on sending me the back the unedited audio. And he's like, and he made me stay up too. He made me stay up to like, he was like, I, he's, I'm like, but it's going to take an hour to send through Skype. Can't you just email it so I can go to bed? He's like, no, I'm doing this now. And then I open it. And it's like, it's still the unedited audio. You, you're emailing this, this to me. I'm going to bed. Bye. But, um, <laughs> besides that, I'm okay. Uh, having fun yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun. Awesome. Awesome. So KP, uh, mind telling us who you are and what you do? For the people who might not know and watched like a half an hour of this already, I hope they're not too confused. But um, I'm KP. I do pony analysis, and I and um, I have a different take than everyone else in the sense that I'm kind of funny, and I use a lot of pop culture references, and it's really fun for me. But um, and then, but it's it's legit analysis too sometimes in there, and um, I, I talk about Discord a little bit more than I probably should, but um, because. Yeah, and that's that's really about it. And I do a video once a week. Yay! Ah, awesome. So basically, you do the analyst video, like what most of the other analyst Brony is doing. Yeah, pretty much. But I've I've I have a weird sense of humor about it, so I just put like things <laughs> I liked. <laughs> So. Okay. I've seen some of your videos and they're pretty entertaining and like I told you before it has that different style of um, how do I put this 
um, different style of telling people your analyst and analyzing and um, humor. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say that. <laughs> what got you started into doing those analysis? I started in April. Uh, I mean, what so, got you started? What prompted the oh, idea? Oh, what got of me started? Analysis? I, I mean, there, there are quite a lot around. Um, I start, um, well, after I joined the fandom with Keep Calm later on, like we already kind of touched upon, um, I started, I had a Tumblr, so I just started analyzing and blogging on Tumblr just about my pony stuff. And then it got to the point where I saw, um, Digi's Q&A and I was just like, oh, I can do something for that with my Tumblr and it's, it's absolutely horrible. And it was like with Windows Movie Maker and I had one OC face that I did like, and I can't do anything digitally. So it was like. Me with like colored pen, my pony with like colored pencils and stuff. And then once I realized, and then I accidentally downloaded an editing program and I was just like, I can like legit do this guys. So, um, I contacted my friend Rio, um, request 101 who does my vector faces and I was like, would you want to do some faces if I, I've, if I got into analysis and she's like, sure. And then she did some few faces and then I got into it. And then I realized my, my strength was me being funny and not really me being an analytical as much as everyone else. And then I focused on, I, I, so I found that balance between the humor and the, and the actual analytical stuff. And then that's when it started to go really fast and I don't know what's happening anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> I do see that you use a lot of pop culture reference and a lot of, well, side gags from other shows, like um, the Nostalgia Critic, The Bum, like, spoilers! And yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that you watch them too. So, obvious question here is, where do you take your inspiration from? The way, this, my style, I guess, is how I do it. I take um, a lot of it from Doug Walker, in that kind of funny but still factual sense. A lot of it from Kim Possible, and, and it just, like, ingrained in my brain now that I can't ever get rid of it. And then some of it from the Daily... Like, if you ever watch The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, a lot of, like, he does a similar sense of humor that I do, so... If you, so it's, like, a mix between all that. And then I add a bunch of fangirlism in there, and then that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what makes your video special is that you add that fangirl, fangirl touch, because... Most of the serious bronies out there, they tend to not do that as much. But you, like, okay, you know, you know what? I like Discord and I don't care. It's like, yeah, and I'm just like, I mean, I can't just like, I can't, like, I've talked about this, but I just can't do what Digi does and do like a 15 minute, like, straight up analysis. It's just, it's just not fun for me. So I have to kind of over exaggerate and, and things. And just, and people think that, oh, you're, are you a good voice actress? And I'm just like, no, it's just because this is me and this is my thing, I can get into it. But if I, like, have to act for anything or people ask me for lines or something, I'm just like, I'm horrible. I'm a horrible actress. I don't think so. I mean, KP knows best was something interesting. Oh, uh, that wasn't me. That was... Um... <laughs> no, it was <best. laughs> Sorry, I couldn't... <laughs> That's all right. Um, that, wasn't, that wasn't me. That was um, Rio who sang it, and I just did the, the speaking ah. lines. So, yeah, so people get... Conf- like, she just... She kind of wanted... She was like, oh, you want to make an animatic and stuff? And I realized, like, halfway through, it's like, will people get this? But I'm like, okay, whatever. So we just did it, and then people are like, is that anti-Kim? And I'm just like, no, it's Rio. I left links in the description. Thanks for paying attention, internet. <laughs> but, you know, but she can sing really well. Oh my gosh. Mm. So. Oh, but still, um, you are KP and you can do anything. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, but still, um, I watched some of your videos and um, how do you work them out? Like, do you write a script down first? Like, how's, how's the work process? Okay, my work process is I write the script. The scripts are usually like a page long, but I double space everything, and I'm and <laughs> it's like so they're only they're not they're short. Sometimes I know what I want to put there as far as gag, and sometimes I realize as I go along. Then I record it, but I don't proofread, so a lot of times when I record, I realize there's errors, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna redo that. So it's not the smartest thing to do, but I'm just I don't feel like do, I don't feel like proofreading it. <laughs> and then um, and then um, I record it, and then. Before I had the help, I would edit my own audio through the the editing system, and I just edit the I just like put it as an MP3 in the editing, and I just edit out like the breathing and stuff, and and then I'd put the clips like I choose the background, and I put the pony me on top of it, and then I just put the clips like either in on the side or in the or in the video, but I have you have to be careful with YouTube these days, so I have to like crop everything because I'm paranoid that they're going to come after me, but. Um, <laughs> 
Um, so, and then I get, like, the vectors that I use from, like, that, the, the DA vector club. But a lot of times, the, like, the little, like, things in the corner that I say are totally, like, as I'm watching this, like, oh, this would be funny to add. So those are usually, like, the last things, and then I put, like, the instrumental track over it, and then that's about it. <laughs> uh, so how long does it take for the whole process? Okay, let's just say, how long does it take to finish one episode? If I have the help, it takes a few days, but it's not that bad because I'm, like, I just write the scripts basically and record and, and just, like, you can edit the audio and you can edit the video because I'm tired. But but, <laughs> but they're really, they're really, they're super nice, though. Thank God. But if I was by myself... It depends on the length of the video, but the videos are usually short, only like three minutes, so maybe like maybe like if like three to four hours ish. Uh, so it's okay, not too not bad, bad, you know, and it's fun, so it goes by fast. Mm. I do notice that your longest video, um, not including live streams, are five minutes and seventeen seconds. Mm. That's the longest I've noticed. Yeah, I'll get longer. Don't worry. I have I have things. <laughs> I have things planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but still, but still, um, Lion, you were saying something. Well, I was meaning bloopers and nothing, but a few hours to get that kind of thing done, it's pretty efficient. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I'm sure uh, we'll take a week at least. <laughs> we <yeah>. would. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well, well, it's good because I have college and I have all the free time of, well, it's still stressful, but I still have free time to work on this kind of stuff. And, um, I mean, people think I put more, like, I feel bad because, like, people do, like, 15 minute long analysis and they put so much work into it. And I just kind of, like, uh, there's me being funny. I'll just kind of edit edit funny faces with it, and then it it, it doesn't <laughs> really take me that long. So I feel a little bad about that. Three to four hours is if I get it done. If if I do it by myself, and if I just sit down and get the whole thing done. If not, then it takes like a few days to get everything because I have to like okay, let's edit the audio. Okay, let's put all the clips in there. So it pays the imaginary bills. So you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Still, uh, but like I said, um, I do enjoy your videos. Um, I do enjoy DG's um, analysis, uh, analytic videos. But the way he does it is really in depth and makes you think. But in your case, you just make people laugh and like oh, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do a mixture of both, but it's hard because I can only talk about it. Like if it's just an episode, I only have like a few things to say about the episode. Like either this is good or this is bad, and. Unless it's Discord, pretty much, then it's hard for me to, like, sit there and analyze a character because it's not as fascinating to me. That's why that's why I do a lot about Discord, because I know, like, enough about Discord to do deep analytical stuff. But everyone else, I'm just kind of, eh, whatever. <laughs> Apple Loom, whatever. Eh. Episode was good, I guess. So, <laughs> well, I think you just read a re- written a review there. Yay! Yay! The first video I saw... Uh... With you in it, I think what was um, Golden Fox's review with Bu- of Button's Mom in Button's Adventure, and you yeah. both you started exchanging banter about Button's Mom and how he's just going nuts over her. It yeah, was pretty that was... neat, and that's basically how I found out that. Well, I found out about you. I just listened to this, and then suddenly, Norman comes up and says, "Hey, I, I like Impossible a lot. It's just going to be on the show. Is it, would you like to be there? It's like, oh, that'd be so cool." <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how much fun was it to work with the Golden Fox? Um, I do a lot of collabs in general, but be, be, people think it's like, oh, she just want, she just does the collabs because of the attention. I'm just like, no, I like doing collabs because I like exchanging different views of people and it's fun to do and it's a little bit, it's different and I like the differentness and all this other, all these other factors. But, um, mm-hmm. Golden Fox was fun. Um, he was really like nitpicky about his scripts, which was, which was really cute. And then like, oh. um, not, 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 not romantic cute, but you know, just <laughs> like, it was, it was funny. Like how I usually do the collabs is I have them write whatever they feel like about the episode and then i take it back and i um add my my stuff in because i prefer having collabs on their channel just because so they have the creative control over them and so i still wanted to be their shtick but at the same time if i like putting my stuff in there too the golden fox collab did take a little longer than how i usually do and he asked me for extra lines and he was like proofreading the script and stuff but it was it was fun he's a cool dude i felt bad though because um he doesn't have the capability to do custom thumbnails anymore because because the whole youtube going down on brony stuff um so um i asked him it's like well i could probably get someone to do some art, thumbnail art if you want he's like well i can't really do it anymore and i'm just like oh okay because it's, it's such a it's such a nicely edited video and i and I, it's a shame but uh, whatever <laughs> uh, the experience was good That's yeah the experience was good I do need to take a look see at Anthony C reacts to shipping oh, pics God. of 
<laughs> I really need to see that because I'm going through your favorite list right now, and hmm, oh, interesting enough, Children of the Night is one of your favorites. Yay. Yeah, I like Children of the Night. It's, it's very, very, very pretty, and I like, I like. I, it's, it's a shame for me when like animation is wasted on things that aren't really good. So it's nice to see that it's good. You you you, you know the feel, right? Mm-hmm. So um, what were we talking about? The shipping or the um, Children of the Night? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Are we? I'm just looking. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking at your favorites right now. Oh, because, okay. Yeah, okay. Because you mentioned that you do a lot of uh, crossovers. So, yeah, they're in my likes. Yeah. All the crossovers I do are so. Um, but yeah, I've done probably like probably like five or something by now. Um, I've done them. I did like a three-person clap with like Ricky and a male alicorn and this guy named Triple Clef. And I did. I haven't done one with Anthony yet, but um. I hope to eventually. Well, it's off the top of my head. I'm doing... Well, okay. There's there's another one that's in the process that I won't talk about yet. And... Well, there's two in the process, technically. Three. Three. Okay, well... Okay. I guess we have to wait for your channel and wait and see then. Um, I did one with Buck. That was that was fun, too. Buck? He Buck? Buck, um, Buck Brony. I can link you if you want. Oh, okay. Please do. Okay, hold I'm on. I'm a bit confused. There's a lot of people named Buck right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a convention. Uh, oh yeah, even the convention. Now, knowing that you're a big Discord fan and Discord buff, I'm going to uh-huh. plug a little something here. What do you think of Baby Discord? People like think that I don't know about like they like it's like have you seen Discord anime or whatever that is? I'm just like, do you forget who you're talking to, Internet? <laughs> but um, yeah, I've seen that and it's adorable. And I wish you. I, I don't want to bug you to make more because I know life and stuff. But is I think it's just the funniest thing on hindsight though. It's like you called it. Oh, I may have a surprise for you. You you would? Oh my! Oh my! Yes, because there is more of Baby D coming because ah, I am yeah. making a flash puppet. You don't have to act, sweetie. I don't have to what? <laughs> act. Act. I'm not acting. I'm being myself. It, it sounded like you were all that. High. No. Oh, so you have la, la. something. <laughs> you've got something in store. Oh my! I am just like that, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, oh my! Now in all seriousness, yeah, there may be more baby Discord coming. I'm trying to make the Flash Puppet, and the Flash Puppet main uh, objective is making more comics of, uh, of him for the Tumblr page. And I will see. I will consider trying to animate some, and uh, let's see how it goes. But our work plate is ridiculously full. I can imagine. Uh, yeah. How it yeah. will be able to? Well, one uh, thing at a time. I mean, it's still. I was just curious as to what she thought of Baby Discord and if yes. you had anything to share with if the she rest wants of us. More, well, there are, I am intending to make a lot more, but I want more Discord on Baby Discord. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I was like, it's Baby Discord. I mean, come on. He, like, I think he's like Discord is, is cute anyway. So Baby Discord is just like up to eleven as far as cuteness. And then like his best, like Fluttershy takes care of it. And I'm just like, this is the best thing ever. So. <laughs> If you don't mind me bugging you about things, how is um how is um, Heaven's Light going? Well, uh, shall we divulge? You, <laughs> so shall we? Let's do it. Okay, Heaven's Light. We have reconstructed the animatic from zero, and we are requesting help because this time is a project that is mostly do, uh, going to be done for fun, uh, not to showcase as much. So we can have as many helpers as we want. Yeah, because that okay. was the main problem with the first one. It's like Discord was super self-pitiful and that kind of thing. <laughs> and it wasn't really Discord. It, it was basically uh, a pony version of really, Quasimodo. Of Quasimodo. It was like Disney <laughs> transposed on ponies without very much of the character see- seeping through. And this time we kind of de- decided, let's reel back and work it out. And that's what well, we did. Like, yeah, you have like... And in and, and hindsight, to keep Calm Flutter on, you have to kind of find that balance between Discord kind of pitting himself and kind of have that self loathe at the same time he's so random, crazy, kind of mean, kind of crazy Discord exactly. and just like mesh it together. And yes. That's the thing. It's, it's the one thing, you know, we didn't get that kind of comments. We just figured it out ourselves. I mean. Yeah, nobody pointed that out because the people who liked Heaven's Light and were following Heaven's Light were hardcore shippers of Discord and Celestia. So they didn't mind it, actually, that Discord was mild down. They blamed it on the young age, that he didn't develop his personality at that point yet. 
But you know, know what? This score is based on Q from Star Trek. And mm -hmm. he wouldn't act, act self-pitiful or being sorry for himself like Pasimodo is. And he's not that modest. Mm. No, but still, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. From the animatics, well, the previous animatics that you showed, it was pretty awesome. But um, you said you started from scratch, right? Absolutely from scratch. I think we recycled one two, shot. two shots, two shots in total. Mm, Which one? Okay. We recycled the scenery oh, yeah, yeah. And the, the, for the um, ponies, and we recycled the the, the stage sunrise. for the sunrise. Mm. Yes, that's all we yeah. have left. But okay, give me a second, guys. So, um, KP, um, we we're, we're talking about Discord, and you know, I, I haven't heard any fangirl squeals yet. Oh well, yeah, I do. <laughs> Too early. Uh, I think I gotta see the thing. But he would oh, okay. hypothetically talking about it isn't isn't as fun as yeah. like this this the thing. But like wait till season four, it'll be fun. There's a Discord song coming, and I'll be like through the roof, and it will be amazing. Uh, I, and I'll be waiting for that um, reaction. Video oh God, I'm oh. sure like people are gonna be like on bacon breath, and it's a, it's it, I'm kind of scared because I have this big project coming out in November, and I'm I have to kind of put a lot of time into it, and it's like a it's like bigger than anything I've ever done. And I'm afraid, like, the Discord episode is going to come, like, right... The first one, there's a bunch, apparently. There's, like, three or four. Um, because I know, I know. I've talked... Oh, I've it's John for Seasons 4? Yeah, Discord yeah, one. yeah. The Discord's Yay! coming back, and um, Discord is probably going... Most, it's, like, 99% sure that it's things. Because John DeLancey tells people things that he's... <laughs> he, like, hints. Because, like, um, I don't know if you I saw... I don't want to know! <laughs> no, no, like, he just said know. it's he didn't say like the subject matter. He just said, you know, um when someone asked him, he's like, Do you think Discord will give it um a, a singing role? And he's like, Just remember <gasps> you asked that <laughs> with a smile and everything the crowd starts cheering and he has this like big smile on his face. That's cool because he's going to be back in the comics as well, apparently. Apparently really? Discord in yes. comics. In the comics. Oh, cool. Okay, I'll have to buy them then. People will bug me about it anyway. They're just like, Have you read the comics? What do you think about Discord in the comics? It's like, I don't know, I'm too cheap to buy them, but okay, I'll I'll go buy them. <laughs> you know, do support. Buy the comics. The comics are awesome. Yeah, the comics are awesome, but I am I am really cheap. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. So I, I noticed here you do live streams, so how does that work? Uh my live streams, um well I what I'm probably not going to do any for, like, another month or two, just because the last one I did with Anthony was just a total train wreck as far as <laughs> everything. But um, I, the live stream's work is, like, people ask me when I stream. It's like, I'll tell you when I stream. Just just, just chill. So I usually put an announcement video, a really, really poorly made announcement video, and I just, like, put funny music in. and just like, hey, guys, I'm doing a live stream, and... Blah blah blah, and I leave the dates and like people at people like are like, what times is it? It's just like go look at the time zones. I left a time zone converter. You know, you can figure it out. And so um, the live streams um, so far have been mostly Q and A, and then there was the first one that I did with Anthony was just rambling pretty much. And um, but yeah, so I, I do a, a live stream announcement. I give times, and then I do a, another video that has, "Hey, the live stream's starting. You know, go join it." And um, I do use um, what is it, Twitch and Xstream for that. I probably shouldn't. So I don't. I don't trust Twitch anymore. So I might. I might switch to something else. But um, and so I just ha how it's been working is I usually with. The, with whoever I do, I, I never like doing them by myself because I never know what to talk about. But, um, so I do it through Skype, and if it's just an audio call, then I just put pretty pictures in the thing and have people talk. But if it's visual, like with Anthony, I, like, put it to full screen, and then we talk through Skype, and, um, but the only, the downside with that is that I can't see the, the comic, sec the comic section of, of um. the thing, so I don't, because apparently there was a problem, um, the very first one we did that people were posting a lot of things that they shouldn't in the stream. So I, uh. so the second one, um, I, I got like, I, th I thought I only had like four mods, but I had like six mods because people, sh a lot of people showed up who were already mods before and it was just a mess. And, um, and then a lot of people were getting banned from the chat for posting links that weren't even that bad. And then I got like, after the, the stream was over, I went to YouTube and I was just like, they banned me for no reason. I'm just like, oh crap. So I had to like fix that. And then Anthony was an hour late and it was just like by accident and it was just a mess. So that's how the live stream works. 
Wow, you're talking about live stream, and I'm going to do a live stream soon. And oh well, god, I'm, that, that's that's when I'm hosting them. If I if I, if it's just like me talking to you on a Skype call, and you're already hosting it, then it shouldn't have been a problem. But it's just like for me hosting it. That's been my experience. Oh, okay. Uh, Oh god, I'm going to do a 25 hour live stream soon enough. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, don't go uh, over it just yet. You're, you're going to be fine. Uh, that's what they all say. Well, that's what they all say before they, before they get eaten. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, true, true. But no, um, I do enjoy the live streams. I need to watch it. And well, I, I think that. Um, we can move on. But before we move on, I-, I got this question for you, Spirit, and for you, KP. What do you think of the Japanese Discord? Who wants to go first? Well, I think it's a typical kabuki voice. It's very uh, theatrical. And, well, considering that it's the same voice actor that did Buggy the Clown in One Piece, I will have said, yes, it's very One Piece-like. That's why it was so familiar at first. <laughs> but it has the crazy vibe. What you, KP? Um, well, not being familiar with anime as as the new new by am, I think his voice isn't as distinctive. He's not. He's, he's definitely not Japanese John Delancey, which makes me sad. But <laughs> I mean, he's definitely got the crazy vibe and that laugh and the be- the, the laugh that he does like for the first appearance, like kind of is really funny and or scary at the same time. So it's, I think he'll be fine being Discordy. But I'm glad I, I speak English so I can enjoy John Delancey's <laughs> voice. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of that one joke from Rush Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> that one. <laughs> no, but still, but still. Well, um, with that this, I thought you guys would love the Japanese Discord. I, I love the Japanese Discord. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, with it's that... It's what happens when you go to the Xbox fan. We like John the Lance's <laughs> boys. What do you expect? <laughs> it's part of the uh, deal. It's the whole talking about for, talking about foreign voices, I I remember that Lion said that um, French Luna was off. Yes, she sounds off, <laughs> condescending, I, a bit too aggressive. You know, I compared mm. it like between the French and the English, and now the French Luna. Yeah, not that she my skin trouble. crawls too high, but it still <laughs> sends ripples down my spine that are not so fun. Don't get me started on the Spanish voiceover. No. Nope. <laughs> okay then. So anyway, um, uh, I I think we can end this now. <laughs> so that was our guest. I, I love Kim Possible a lot. Okay, oh, before short. Thanks, Kate, before coming on. Uh, no problem. It was fun talking about Japanese Discord and all sorts of other things. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was more fun talking about your work, but yeah, hey, yeah, but I talked about I that a lot. <laughs> true, 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 true. So anyway, before we leave, um, where can they find you? They can find me on YouTube. I have a um, a YouTube. I live Compossible a lot. If you type it in as one word, it's a lot easier to find me than like separate eye, space, heart. I mean, lo- I mean, love, not heart. Anyway, <laughs> um, and I also have a Tumblr, which is fun. I I usually answer like any question people ask me, which probably isn't a good idea in hindsight because I get a lot of Anthony and I shipping questions. <laughs> but <laughs> but besides that, I'm usually good about answering all the fun questions and um. I also have a DeviantArt where I do all my traditional art lies, and a lot of it's really bad, and I have to delete a lot of it. But some <laughs> some of it's good too, which I'm proud of. Like my dis my, that Discord piece, I really like. And then I also have a Twitter too. I love KP a lot because I love Kim Fossil a lot. Wouldn't fit. And um, but that a lot of that just I have I just got a smartphone, so I have to like learn how to tweet just from the smartphone. But a lot of that's just from um, Tumblr. Just people ask me on Tumblr, but. I've, I've I've been learning to checking the tweets to see if anyone asks me things through tweets, but I'm a noob for Twitter, so yay! And then yeah, slowly, slowly, I, I, I'm a noob too on Twitter, but we we move slowly. <laughs> I, I'm looking at your Tumblr right now, and it's really cool. Oh yeah, Golden Fox did that. The, uh, uh, the thumbnail or like the banner? Everything really. Everything because really? My Tumblr. My Tumblr page is really boring. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, Golden Fox did that. I I might update it soon just for a change of pace, but he did it. He did a really good job. So that's about it. Um, and then yeah, I might get a Facebook or something eventually, but you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is shout outs. My first shout out goes to you, KP. Thanks for coming on. Oh, no problem. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun talking to you too. I hope we can do this again, and you're always welcome to come on. 
Okay, I, I might have, I might use and abuse that, so just just be careful what you say. Oh, I'm used to it. I never look back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, one day, one day. But anyway, um, thank you, Lion and Spirit. Um, You're welcome. You, you guys are awesome. We do what we can. Thank you. <laughs> and also to one of my previous guests, um, Scribbler. Um, I did a kind of um, fanfic reading for... Well, I read a line for her for a fanfic read that she was doing. And it was pretty fun. Um, I'll try and link it in the show notes because I played Strong Wheel, a Minotaur. <laughs> and my voice was strange. <laughs> so anyway, what about you, Lion? Any shout-outs to give out to? Oh my god. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thanks, Kim. Thanks, KP. I mean, I didn't know you were a fan from way back when, so a huge shout-out to you. Your videos are really fun to watch and hear. It's a nice background. Uh, you're, uh, you're you're my hero. Don't even... don't even. You don't have to thank me. You normally have to thank me, but you don't. <laughs> I will. I will. Too late. It's okay. done. <laughs> it is done. And, uh, pardon? I said it is done. Well, we can always ask him to edit it out, but I won't. I'm, I'm too big of a to go to do that, so. <laughs> but, well, thanks thanks for volunteering to be a guest. I mean, that was a nice surprise that he's like, oh, by the way, we got Lionheart. I'm just like, you got Lionheart. That's amazing. <laughs> to be I was happy to oblige. I was only happy to oblige. It was really fun. <laughs> so first shout out to you and the other one, well, to all of the fans out there that love the ponies and help us make... All of that little fandom slightly better every day. Because without them, we wouldn't be here. That very true. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What about you, Spirit? Well, shout to you, Norman, for letting me be on the show once <laughs> again. And to you, KP. They're awesome. Oh, awesome you're awesome, to too. I mean, Children's Day is it's like beautiful, yes. so, you know. And, and I Discord, don't find yeah. many Discord fans all around. <laughs> uh, I think I've become, like, the, the go-to Discord fan by default, so... You, you you know there's um there's a pistol from EQD with the Trixies. Now we just have KP for the discords. It's all it all works. It all works. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Like I'm like I'm I'm I love Discord. Like Sethia loves Trixie. So, but p- too many people love Trixie. I mean, we've already curious as a thing for Trixie too. So it's it's so fun. Plus, I think it's funny because I'm a girl. But a Discord lot of the guys- takes Trixie's butt. I know. <laughs> By one oh, million but, but. times. <laughs> <laughs> them, them be fighting words. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. It's just like the, the, just like the day I meet John Delance, and he's, he'll be like, "But you're a girl. Why do you like Discord?" I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. God, don't judge me, John Delance. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, KP, who, who shout out who? <laughs> Um, I'll give a shout out for Anthony because like he made me a really nice animatic when I was sad and um. Uh, my friends Chris and Sean, who are helping me with the big pro- with that big project that I keep on dropping hints about, and I think that's about. And then like my whole team that's working on that project. I have a team of people, and they're really working hard. And I just kind of sit there and boss them around. So <laughs> this is Yay, good. This is a good. I get, I need a score for this. Yada yada. So it's it's fun. And I think that's yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshow.gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, you can reach me at norman at mbshow.com and daniel at mbshow.com and charlie at mbshow.com. Say that three times fast with the MBS show. Yeah. mbshow.com. <laughs> Just one. But anyway, you, you can also reach us on Twitter. Um, the show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. Sweetie Bot will interact with you, talk with you about stuff, and complain about the editing. And you can also reach me on Twitter, and I'm at Norman Sanzo. I will tweet stuff about toys, food, and take pictures of kittens. Yay! <laughs> Kitties are cute. Kittens. Um, yep, yep. Um, you can also reach Daniel at St. Pinky, that's S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E, and the doctor at D-R-C-X-Y. That's Charlie anyway, but you don't need to know. Um, you guys have the Twitters, right? Yep, at r c r o a It's, well, S-I-R-O-I-S. Mm-hmm. I don't use it very much. I post once in a while, but you can still reach me at uh, at r s i o i s i r o i s. Try saying that awesome. seven times faster. <laughs> I already failed, so I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Spirit, you don't have a Twitter, do you? My old Twitter is dead, and I'm trying to figure out my identity as a Twitter in person. So, until that comes to me, I don't have a Twitter. Okay, so KP, 
Your Twitter is. Uh, I, I love KPOR, that's it. <laughs> wow. I love KPOR. Still, that's a long name, and wow, you're not following anybody. <laughs> I am not following. I'm, I'm just like, I just. People ask me, it's like, hey, what's your Twitter? Like, I've gotten like. I had like three questions of Twitter. It's like, I have an old Twitter that I can just like revamp, and. But I don't really feel like doing like getting addicted to twitter i'm addicted to enough things so maybe but you know and john delancey doesn't tweet as much as i like that as much as, as i wish he would so you yeah. know maybe maybe i'll follow, follow terror or something oh terror does the tweets oh yeah terror speaking of which a lot. did terror see that vid- that animation that you made for her yes she <laughs> did yes. she saw the donkey donk animation <laughs> she made she, first she tweeted about it like 15 minutes after I posted it and then she vined about it <laughs> she like essentially made two posts oh so wow I, I, I went pretty nuts I went well okay she sees it and well I'll remove it because I was sure she may, probably wouldn't like to have her bottom show <laughs> like that but no I, I kind of knew that she already liked the song she sung it a lot and she seemed so hyped about it that, but it was that borderline thing that okay, what if she gets offended? So yeah. we were ready to take it down any time if she had anything to say. And it, when she tweeted and binded, it, it was like, oh. it, it turned out to be quite the opposite, and it went boom. It went, Woohoo! She likes it! Yay! She has a sense of humor. <laughs> I hope so. With all the trolling she does, <laughs> <laughs> she's oh, vicious. That is so true. <laughs> that is so true. So anyway, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. Uh, well, I should really stop doing that because it sounds so rude. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm Lionheart Cartoon. Spirit! And I'm KP. You can always call us Beepus whenever you want to reach us. Oh, Bye. you're you lame. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not one to judge. I, I know, I know.
My real name is Kim Possible, guys. I didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> Yeah, I have man. been watching you for years. Oh my god! How you got out of TV? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was my job. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was my doing. I get it. I got her out of TV. Oh boy! You're keeping things from me. <clears throat> no, I'm not. She just went on to live her own life in I will, America. <laughs> I wanted to hide from Ron. He was getting kind of creepy. <laughs> Wait, are you do dating? Wait, well. Dating is such a strong word, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, 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 then let's restart the show. So, three, two, one. But you oh know my. what? This score is based on Q from Star Trek. And he wouldn't act self pitiful or being sorry for himself like Pasimodo is, and he's not that modest. Bonjour, and mon capitaine. When we were remaking <laughs> Hell's Light, funny question that we had. Okay. Discord is kind of fl- uh, flirting with Celestia at this age. What will a, uh, a young Q do with a young female that he liked in his teen years? Okay, what oh else my. will he do besides that? <laughs> yeah, let's watch Voyager and then figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we did, and upon the blatantly um, inappropriate response of that question, directly, we <laughs> yes. took the closest approach that didn't involve assault in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Let's just say that my answer needs to be on a adult show because <laughs> uh, I am very adult. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> oh, we are pretty adult. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, this girl of hormones. What else? What did you <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Bang, zoom. Uh, maybe-